Hey there, this is Danielle from Outlaw Soaps, and you are watching my incredibly sped up instructional video, which is not actually instructional because of how fast it goes. I've broken down a two and a half hour process into five minutes. There I am getting water, and now I'm getting ready to get lye. Lye is incredibly caustic. It will burn your skin, make you look like rotting chicken. And so I brought out the vinegar because that is what uh, nullifies the lye. Uh, it's important to get every single measurement exactly perfect because everything affects the outcome. The water when I add it is room temperature, but once I add the lye, it gets up to about 206 degrees and I measure out a bunch of oil. I use four oils, olive, avocado, castor, and coconut. And then I'm measuring out fragrance oils. This particular one calls for campfire, gunpowder, uh, whiskey, um, sage, and bacon. It's called Fire in the Hole. It reminds me of camping out with my friends because they are awesome. I'm mixing up some color. This calls for three colors. It's yellow, red, and black because it looks like flames, which you'll see at the end. I'm heating up the oil now because it's important that the oil and the lye water are exactly the same temperature. In this case, it's 113 degrees. And because raw soap is incredibly caustic, even though the lye water is not 200 degrees anymore, I still need to protect my eyes and my arms. You'll notice I'm wearing a skirt, which is not advised, but I wear skirts all the time, so to hell with it. And how soap is made is that you pour lye water into oil and it blends up and you need to blend it completely, absolutely 110% if that was possible, but at least 100%. And uh, that involves a lot of mixing. So I take my time with mixing, which is why this video would be incredibly long and very boring. See, I talk a lot, it's really freaking boring. And I use a stick blender you have to uh, blend in only little pulses because otherwise your soap will turn into so soap on a stick. And that sucks. And it's happened a lot of times, which is why I now keep copious notes. That's the fragrance oil that I just brought over. I add that very slowly because sometimes it causes the soap to seize. Now I've reached trace, which means that my uh, soap is about paint, I guess, thickness. See it kind of dripping. I'm mixing up the color. That's yellow. I mix light to dark because I use all my uh, tools from one bin to the other. There's the red. See, doesn't this look fun? And there's the black. Because I mix most of this batch is black, I put that in a little tiny container and then I mix it into the remainder of the stuff so that I don't have to uh, clean a bunch of big pans. And I'm using plastic, it's reusable. I put in a little extra black there because I didn't measure enough the first time. And now I'm pouring the soap into the mold. I pour the yellow first, and then I pour some red, and then I pour some more yellow. And I go in between each time and kind of mix up the colors. Because I want to make flames in this soap. And flames are kind of mixed up. So now I'm pouring in extra layers of the red. And there it is. Look at that. I smooth it out and then I kind of toss it around a little bit in flame pattern. And now I pour on, I've poured on some black. I've put on some copper mica. The copper mica is like sparks, I think. You know, I like them. And pouring the black in. And then I kind of smooth it out, toss it up again. There you go, see, tossing, neat. And then I smooth it out again, and then I put a little pattern on the top, just because I'm that way, you know. I like it. And there you go. I uh, 
I hope you enjoyed this little instructional video and uh, I mean non-instructional video just random ass video that some strange lady made on the internet um, I'm without lost hopes my name is Danielle my friends call me normal and you can call me normal too um, and uh, yeah I hope you uh, have a great day okay